Welcome to this video where I'll be going over GCSE grade 8 questions. Now the GCSE questions for ratio have changed drastically. Now have a look at the question that I've got displayed in front of you. This is what the questions used to look like. Very straightforward. However, ratio questions are far more challenging now. Check these two questions out. These are the kind of questions that are appearing on the GCSE papers and you need to be prepared to answer these questions. Now, I will be going through these two questions in this lesson. The first one I'll go through with you and maybe the second one you could try it yourselves and then I'll show you the solution to that one as well. Now, there are several different methods that you could use and apply on these questions. I will be using the algebra method to answer these questions because I think that is quite straightforward and it's quick to get to your answer. So let's begin. Question one, Harpri and Aisha share some sweets in the ratio 73. Let's write that down. So H and A for Harpri and Aisha in the ratio 7 to 3. Now we don't know how many sweets they have originally. So what we can do is write 7x and 3x. And Harpri gives three sweets to Aisha and the ratio changes to 5 to 3. So what would that look like? Well, Harpreet will lose three sweets, so it becomes 7x minus three, and Aisha will gain three sweets, so it becomes 3x plus three. Now this new ratio is represented by five to three. So we are now going to be looking at this more closely. We are gonna turn this into equivalent fractions. So what I mean by this is we can do 7x minus three divided by 3x plus 3. And this is equivalent to, equal to 5 divided by 3. Now that we have the algebraic fractions here, we will just solve this. So we'll cross multiply. So we will now have 3 times 7x minus 3 on this side, and we'll have 5 times 3x plus 3 on the other side. And then we'll expand the bracket, so we'll get 21x minus 9 is equal to 15x plus 15. And now, we will take the x's onto one side, so the 15x can go over to this side, giving us 6x, and then minus 9 will go over to the other side, giving us 24. So now we can have x is equal to 24 divided by 6, which is 4. So x is equal to 4. Now the question says, how many sweets did they have altogether? So we can work that individually. So originally we know that Harpreet was 7 times x, and Aisha was 3 times x. So for Harpreet, we'll have 7 times 4, which is 28 sweets. And for Aisha, we can have 3 times 4, which is 12 sweets. So in total, because the question says how many did they have all together, they had a total of 40 sweets. Try this second one on your own. Pause the video here, and it's the same principle as you've just seen me apply. And then press play when you're ready to go through it with me. So hopefully you've had an opportunity and you've answered this correctly. Let's go through this question. So we have James and Kat who own crypto coins in the ratio five to six. James gains two more coins and the ratio is now seven to eight. How many coins did they each own initially? Let's put down some statements. So J and K for James and Kat are in the ratio five to six. Now, once again, we don't know how many coins they had originally, so we can write five X and six X. Now, James gains two more coins. So James will be 5x plus 2. Now, it doesn't say anything about gaining those coins from cat. So cat remains as 6x. Now, this new ratio is represented by 7 to 8. So again, we will be looking at this and turning this into equivalent fractions. So let's go. So we can have 5x plus 2 over 6x is equal to 7 over 8. So now we will cross multiply and solve this. So how many coins did they have initially? So James had 5x coins, so James would be 5 times 8, which is 40. And as for Cat, well Cat had 6x, so 6 times 8, which is 48. So in total, um, they had 88 coins, but the question says how many did they own initially on their own, okay? So that's just 40 coins and 48 coins. And of course, in total, it was 88 coins. Hopefully this helps you answer ratio questions in the exam. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.